Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to try the Minotaur update here on Advanced Server. These changes were so big, it felt like he was revamped because it affected his overall game style. So I'll be playing as Tank using the roaming skill Favor. And what do we have here? It's a new feature that will appear each time your teammate uses the signal button. It's like a confirmation to your teammate's request. So one of Minotaur's changes is the added knock-up effect on his first kill. The duration is pretty fast, but it retained the features of its old version. This means aside from the knock-up, it still has slow effect, attack speed reduction, and enhanced basic attacks that's based on the enemy's max HP. So that's four features all packed in a single skill. So let's test it on Lancelot. What? Okay. One more time. Quack. Come on, man. Victory takes one swing at a time. There you go. Thank you, Veil. So aside from the first kill, they also improved his rage points where it will no longer dissipate. You can now store it as long as you like, even though you're not dealing or receiving damage. To balance this feature, they had to lower the rage points gained when charging. Another part of this update is the new ultimate. They removed the first two knockup of the skill and replaced it with 70% slow effect. I think it's just fair since he already has one on his first kill. The only problem is that it's now easier to cancel. You can no longer do a flicker ulti combination because once they see you stomping, a simple CC can quickly stop you. But on the brighter side, he is no longer ultimate reliant like before. You can knock off multiple enemies with his first kill, and it has a pretty short cooldown. And best of all, knock up can counter a lot of heroes. For example, is Claude's ultimate, which you can easily cancel with his first kill. So after reaching level 4, I can now test my ultimate. I thought I could flicker the last part, but I was too slow. I tested it on practice mode, and I can still flicker the last part of the ultimate. An enemy has been slain. Now that his reach points are no longer disappearing, you'll have to charge it as soon as the ultimate becomes available. Because of these changes, you can now chain CC the enemy with a triple knockup combo just like this. Too bad I was all alone, but you get my point, right? Here comes the reinforcements. is my momentum. Killing spree. This new Minotaur has become easier to use, unlike before where you have to time and maintain your reach points before you could use his ultimate. Now you just store it and wait for the right moment. The glory of the enemy has been slain. Time to help our marksman at bottom lane. Launch attack! Our turret is under attack! An enemy has been slain! An ally has been slain! Pour the Another feature that I like with Minotaur is his heal. He is the only tank main that can heal his allies. 
And since he has no mana, you just spam it whenever it's available. Your team destroy the turret. Now that we've pushed the bottom lane, I can now help the other side. After reviving, there was already a team fight happening in middle lane. Remember, they removed the knockoff on the first part of his ultimate, which means it's easier to cancel the skill just like this. It's kind of predictable, right? So with almost 12 minutes in the game, no team has taken the Lord yet. Watch how useful the knockoff of his first skill is. Those small delays on the enemy are usually enough for your team to get the kill. At max level, it only has a cooldown of 4 seconds. For experimental purposes, I'm gonna try his old Flicker Ultimate combo. As you can see, it was easily cancelled because the enemies were only slowed on the first part. Good thing my teammates were there. Honestly, I like this new Minotaur despite the nerf on his ultimate. The knockoff on his first kill is so good, especially with its big range and low cooldown. It's now easier to manage his reach points, which is a big problem for me back then. It's one less thing to think about when playing Minotaur. I think it's safe to say that he became more user-friendly for new players. For the Minoan blood that runs in me. So what can you say about the new Minotaur? Will he become popular again after this update? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.